Hello everyone and welcome to What Knowledge. Today I have a new update on Crashing GRP 0 series IP phones. So in the beta version you can configure virtual extension DSS board for your GRP series of phone. Since this phone cannot be connected with the hardware DSS board so in beta version you can configure it via virtually so it will have virtual DSS board on system as well mobile application so as you can see my phone is having beta firmware version 1.0.5.19 and to configure virtual extension you need to enter to the programmable keys and then virtual extension here you can see the not Please scan QR code or click the link to enter the virtual extension board web page. And you can download the mobile application as well for Android and iOS. And you can access the URL on your browser from the domain or local IP. So there are two ways LAN IP and DNS domain and to download the mobile application you can scan the QR code for iOS and as well for Android application so to configure click on mode select BLF so I'm selecting for two buttons two keys and in the value I'm giving the extension number 531 and another 533 and I'm giving a name as zone and Alex similarly I can also take in one more extension and use an extension 507 and Peter now click on save and you can see the status here two extension are currently offline and Peter's extension is live so we can monitor here as well the which extension is offline or online so to now log in or see the virtual DSS board on your system click on the link and you can have virtual DSS board for your IP phone now if you press the key it will make the call and similarly you can disconnect the call from here as well so now I have powered on one more device John device and it, it is showing now green color that means it is powered on and idle now if I make a call from John to Peter the status will be changed to red color so now you can see the status is changed and Peter phone is ringing so it is blinking So now the call is connected. And after the call disconnect, it is back to the normal. Similarly, we can use mobile application for same use. And to download mobile application, just scan the QR code in your mobile and then install the application. And you will get the same interface in your IP phone in your mobile application so I'm showing you the mobile screen recording so now I have installed mobile application as well so we can scan <coughs> the QR code or we can enter the phone IP address and then password which is by default one two three so now you can see in mobile as well we are getting the same 
interface and I can make the call from here and I can also disconnect the call from here thank you